Today we are going to talk about land and early life. It is chapter 5 land and early life. Gradually the pressure in the earth's womb increased further. At the bottom of the ocean the thin layers burst and the metal mixture that was inside the womb flowed out. The mixture flowed as lava and settled on the ocean floor. The metals that made up the earth's crust were also mixed with this lava. For millions of years, this action continued exposing the ocean to the surface and collided with the air. They became islands. The elements and compounds it had made up the islands cool further and turned into rocks. The rocks decomposed to form soil. In this way, the land was created due to the islands that emerged all over the ocean. By this time, the 92 elements on which that earth was built, as well as their compounds, had dissolved in the ocean to the maximum extent. It was chemical solutions. When electromagnetic waves from the sun pass through this solution, the energy required for chemical reaction is obtained. Organic and inorganic compounds interacted to form new compounds. In addition, it has four special compounds that adenine, thiamine, guanine and cytosine. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen are combined and these four compounds are abbreviated as ATGC. AT joined and became a couple and GC joined and became another couple. AT and GC were connected to each other due to hydrogen bonds. Four sugar molecules and two phosphate molecules were able to link two AT and GC molecules into ring through hydrogen atoms. This chemical was identified as deoxyribonucleic acid and became abbreviated DNA. The chemical revolution began in the ocean and ended. DNA that was first formed did not react again. Instead, it developed the ability to become two identical subs. This process is also joined by a series of reactions that can provide the energy needed for this process to occur efficiently. All this was jelly submerged in watery space. In this kind of jelly, it became a new jelly by becoming similar to another DNA molecule and acting independently.